Good morning. We're live. Oh, it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon. Oh. Good afternoon. Already. It's already afternoon. Yes. Uh, it is. Where did the morning go? I know, exactly. Pretty crazy. It goes fast when I sleep late. <laughs> it just goes fast. Yes, it does. Yeah. So, good morning, everybody. Lori Bell. Randy Bell here for yet another yet senior another Saint moment. senior Saint moment. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I hope your day and weekend is going your way so far. Uh, we never know. Yeah, right. and we are home. We're not on the road. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's okay. Missing a ball game or two, but uh, anyway, we'll catch up, right? Yes. Yeah. We will survive. We will survive. <laughs> that was a song, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Sure was. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So today we're uh, we're going to be in Missy Buchanan's old book that we've been working, Aging Faithfully. It's a great little book. We're about finished, but there's still a few on mm -hmm. it that are uh, worthy of our consideration. Right. And so th today it, we're in the overall topic of overcoming temptations of aging. And there's a lot of those. And this particular one is called night worries. I know uh, nobody ever lays in bed worrying about stuff. <laughs> right. right. Nobody does. Right. Mm -hmm. So for those one or two that do, <laughs> we hope. We hope you're tuned in. Yes. For those one or two. For those one or two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so as we move on, uh, let's pray. Let's okay. pray this morning. Okay. Uh, Father, we come to you today and we invite your Holy Spirit into our conversation. Uh, so that you might reveal the truths that we need to know and help further your kingdom purposes and our growth. In our faith, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, night worries. Uh, scripture mm -hmm. today starts off with Matthew, and I know some of you have heard this before. Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew 6, 25-34. Would you read that for us? And let's get cranked up. 25-34. Matthew 6, 25-34. Yeah. Okay. So, I tell you, don't worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food drink or clothes doesn't life consist of more than food and clothing look at the birds they don't need to plant or harvest or put food in barns because your heavenly father feeds them and you are far more valuable to him than they are can all your worries add a single moment to your life of course not and why worry about your clothes look at the lilies and how they grow they don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow, won't he more surely care for you? You have so little faith. So don't worry about having enough food or drink or clothing. Why be like the pagans who are so deeply concerned about these things? Your, help, your heavenly Father already knows all your needs, and he will give you all you need from day to day if you live for him and make the kingdom of God your primary concern. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Yeah, that's very true. That's true. Yes. It's mouthful. Yes. You know, all that worry can't gain another mm -hmm. minute of life, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but it's a natural thing, I believe. Mm -hmm. So hear these words. Um, thank you for that. Hear, You're hear these words. Darkness finally throws its cloak over a day that you thought would never end. <clears throat> think about those long days, troublesome days, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Now you're finally in bed. You can't hardly wait to crawl into bed. Mm-hmm. When at last you do, you can't sleep. Have you ever had one of those days? Yes, I just have. One, just one. I've had several. <laughs> yeah. 
You just lie awake, turning over random things in your mind, mm -hmm. unspoken things, <clears throat> troublesome issues, perhaps, uh, and questions that bounce around in your imagination. Mm -hmm. So you finally nestle down into the covers. And you fluff your new pillow one more time. <laughs> and a hard knot of worry grows in your stomach. You fidget and turn and rock back and forth, but sleep refuses to come. Those are uh, not fun nights. No, they're not. <laughs> so in the darkness of night, when there's nothing to hear but your own heartbeat, every nagging worry seems somehow worse. Little problems grow into imaginary monsters. Mm. You wrestle with them until at last you surrender, exhausted and defeated. So it's easy to fill your mind with the what ifs and worst case scenarios. Okay. And uh, we're saying don't do that. Yeah, it's hard to. It's very hard not to. <laughs> hard to to say don't mm -hmm. do it, but the scripture says don't do that. It does. Uh, in fact, let's look at what Philippians 4 8 says about that. Philippians 4 8. 4 8. This is, let's see. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let me say one more thing as I close this letter. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, one more. How about Psalm 94, uh, 19? <clears throat> when doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Yeah. When doubts fill our mind, God's comfort gives us renewed hope. Mm -hmm. So worry can grow when you face many unknowns. Uh, a, a doctor's report, a wayward grandchild or, or mm -hmm. child, whether to stay in your home or move, uh, you're tempted to worry about things great and small. True. The scripture repeatedly says, and we've heard it today, fear not, I'm with you. So God never intended for us to go through life without a care, but God does not want us to be paralyzed by matters over which we have no control. So shift your burdens to God and trust God. Turn your worries into prayers and let them fly heavenward. So think mm -hmm. of all your worries. Think of things that uh, might loom over you. Write them down. Pray about them, each one, specifically. Begin your day, perhaps. By saying, God, you're bigger than all of these worries and list them, mm -hmm. name them. Um, before you go to bed at night, repeat the same thing. List them, name them. What are you worried about? Uh, get it off your mind. Get it off your mind. Let God help you because mm -hmm. he says he's with you. And After all, we can't add another day to our life by worrying. So That's true. get out of that rocking chair of worry. Mm -hmm. And let's move on. Mm. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Any final thoughts before we uh, pray our way out and let folks move on with the rest of their Saturday? Not that I can think of. Okay. Sounds good. So for the one or two that have trouble sleeping at night and worry, we hope you tuned in. Um, and if you know others that have problems with worry or can't sleep due to whatever the reason. Um, now you know how to kind of help comfort them and come alongside them. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one final thing, if you don't have a church home, act in United Methodist. Uh, we meet at nine in the morning and 1030. Mm -hmm. Nine is traditional. 1030 is a modern worship. Or if you can't join us, Join us online, actonmethodist.com slash live. We'd love to have you and see where God is moving and working in your life. So uh, are you praying or am I? 
I'll let you do it tonight. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, go to the Father. Okay. Father, we come to you, and we know that these there are many worries for many folks that loom over them, and things that they cannot change. And for one minute of worry, they cannot ever change the outcome. So, Father, give us strength and awareness and guidance, even through Scripture and through friends that come alongside us to help us overcome. So we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Hopefully y'all had a great... Uh, hey, Miss Carol, how you doing? Hi, Carol. <laughs> Hope you have a great rest of the day, Saturday and the weekend. And uh, we look forward to seeing you somewhere, perhaps tomorrow in worship or online. Yeah, and get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. It is beautiful. And uh, love October's. Because mm -hmm. uh, we have a birthday coming soon. <laughs> next week. Yeah. So we'll have to talk about birthdays, <laughs> perhaps. Okay, so we'll uh, check out and let everybody move on. All right. So have a great rest of the day, folks. Bye. Bye-bye.